Hi there, it's Nuf from Better Music in the acoustic section, and today I'm joined by a very special guest. This is Patrick Godin from Godin Guitars. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for receiving me. That that's quite alright. Actually, first thing I want to do. Yeah. Okay, in Australia we say Godin. Can you please correct me? Is it right? Is it Godin? Or how do you say it? It's a Gode. Good. Gode. Godin. Yeah. But okay. you know, the most important is that you remember my last name, the name of our guitars. Oh, That's the absolutely. only thing that I ask. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So, w what is your position at uh, Godin? Yeah, it's a family business started mm -hmm. by my father Robert Godin. So, uh, me and my brother were basically second generation. You know, mm -hmm. we're running the business. And this is Simon. In Simon, yep. exactly. In Simon Patrick Guitars, and uh, I take care of the export. You know, international sales. Hence why you're here. Exactly. So once Fantastic. a year. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and I know uh, here in Australia, where we sort of recognise your brand from, uh, or uh, particular items such as the multi act. I mean, everyone. Yeah. Look, if you don't know what the multi act is, you've been living under a rather large rock. Um, but you guys are now sort of. Uh, well, I'm not saying you're expanding. You've been there. Um, yeah. But. You cover bases. I know we looked at some bases yeah, this morning. Yeah, semi-acoustic bases, solid body bases with yeah. a shifter base, A4, A5, fretless or fretted for semi-acoustic. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. And you, you're doing, uh, uh, well, there's you, you do all those great folk instruments. I know there's an oud. Yeah, the oud, yes. The oud, there's a ukulele. Ukulele, A10 for Peruvian, you know, music and everything. Yeah, yeah. all that kind of stuff. We have seven string, you know, for uh, Brazilian music. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty broad range, and guys, there's also a bit of an exclusive. Uh, Patrick's been really kind in bringing something along with him today. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the first ones in Australia, right? Exactly, correct, yeah. Okay, this is the new acoustic, the Metropolis. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get you to talk us through it. Yeah. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna do some playing demos of this a bit later, but uh, yeah, can you just run us through it? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's a project, you know, that was done by Robert Godin with the leading mm -hmm. univers English university in Montreal called McGill University. Yep. So the project was, you know, about all about the timber, you know, in this situation, we talk about the tops. Mm -hmm. So over the last 10 years, you know, they did a lot of tests, you know, just, you know, Sure. what kind of tops we should have, you know, as either spruce or cedar. And for the last 10 years, they've been working on top selection. Mm -hmm. So in the past, you know, the wood sell the top selection will be more visual, you know, and everything sure. and uh, knocking it you know, on the on the sure. top to see the resonance and everything. But they realize over time that the most important factor is the rigid rigidity. How strong oh, the exactly. top is. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So in the factory, you know, we've been doing like a cylinder. So each mm -hmm. top that comes in our factory is pressure tested. Yes. So if it's too weak, it's, rejected. it's uh, rejected. Push, yeah, if yeah. it's a certain level of stiffness, we're going to keep it for certain, you know, models that we have in our uh, either Seagull line or Artinutri or Lapatri. Sure. And the stiffest one, the most rigid one, we kept them aside to do this new collection of acoustic guitar under the brand Godin. Fantastic. And it, it looks a million bucks. Like we talk, you're talking about, uh, it's it's a solid guitar. It's, it's, it's all solid. It's all, it's all back solid, side. you know, spruce, mahogany. Yeah, spruce, yeah. Spruce. And the, the, the back and the, the mahogany. Yeah. I also get this this morning because I've only seen this for, you know, I only saw this for the first time about half an hour ago. This light burst it's across stunning. the back. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, the uh, open geared machine heads. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a nice little touch you pointed out this morning. So, guys, this scratch plate, check it out, it's on the headset. <laughs> that, that is a really nice touch. Uh, and the pickup that comes fitted with? Yeah, we come with the LR bags pickup. So, yeah. we work a lot with um, Lloyd Bag, you know, and uh, we ask him to design, a, you know, uh, you know, adapt a pickup that he has, you know, mm. for this new. Godin Acoustic Series, basically. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and it comes with a trick case? Yeah, with a trick case. Yeah. So it's all a package package deal, you know, and everything. So. Absolutely. Now, you, now, I've been doing this game for a long time. Yeah. And I, for the very first time this morning, <laughs> you told me what trick stands for. Yeah, trick stands for Thermal Regulated Instrument Case. So the... <laughs> Every day is a school day. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. So basically our trick case, you know, when yeah. we say thermal, you know, you see in Canada we have extreme weathers, you know, from 40 degrees plus 40 to minus 40s, yeah. you know. 
So the guitar inside need to resist. Sure. So this is why the type of material that we use for the trick case has thermal property. So you can, uh, if it's very warm or very cold, sure. it can keep the room temperature up to 48 hours. Wow. So this is the beauty. So of it helps stabilize the guitar for exactly. the environment. Yeah, yeah. You guys have thought of everything. That's fantastic. And also made in Canada, very important. And it's made in Canada. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so this is part of their sort of um, higher end line. And you said there were some others in the yeah, range as well? Yeah, there's five different models. Mm -hmm. um, the Dreadnought you know, models are mm -hmm. called Metropolis, like you said. Metropolis, yeah. They're all famous venues you know, in Montreal. Okay. The Triple O or concert all size you know, for the Godin Acoustic Series is called the Fermat. The firm one? Yeah, firm yep. one. And the uh, part of size is the Rialto. The Rialto. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a lot of people know the Rialto. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It must be a common name. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah everyone, everyone's got a Rialto. But yeah. cool. So there's a few in, in the series, but. Exactly, yeah. These are the first. So yeah. they're all going to be of this sort of quality. That's what you're exactly, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And the, the shop, the, is, is it like a custom shop? You're exactly. Saying? It's Godet Atelier. Atelier means in French, no workshop or custom shop. Means workshop. So, I'm not yeah, even going to yeah. try that one. I'm, I'm still struggling with go, Godin. <laughs> Godin. Godin. Okay. Oh, yeah. In Latin America, they say Godin. Godin. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to practice. I, I can't even speak English that well. Yeah. Um, right. So that's where that's from. Yeah. So it was introduced, you know, at the NAMP show, you know, last January. Sure. So you're just starting, you know, we started start to see them in shops, you know, in North sure. America and Europe. And it's going to come to Australia very uh, shortly. And there was a bunch music. of new things. You also other things you released at the yeah, show. Yeah, we uh, came, you know, with a new series of Fifth Avenues. Yeah. Montreal premiere. Yeah. Uh, what else? And Seagull guitar, the same thing, you know, with new colors or art in Utri, you know. So the that's the other thing. thing. I don't think uh, I'm. I'm hoping that everyone out there also understands what is also under the golden uh, yeah. banner. It's it's yeah, like you were saying, the Simon and Patrick, the yeah. Art and Luther, uh, Seagull. Seagull. Uh, if I La Patrie. La Patrie, yeah. And, uh, and for domestic, the first brand that Robert Godin came in 1972 was Norman Guitars. Norman Guitars yeah. back in the 70s. Right. Yeah, yeah, so it's mostly domestic market now. So, so. you guys have been around for a long time. We've definitely, def you've definitely had a presence in Australia. Yeah, um, but uh, also, those, I was going to say with those newer models, they yeah. were launched on a brand new website you guys have got. Exactly. What's Be the website called? Is it it's a godinguitars.com. Yep. So we have, uh, my brother Simon just launched, you know, a new section for the Godin Acoustic mm -hmm. because it's the first time that we come with a good acoustic guitar under the brand name Godin. First time. Very first. Exactly. Wow. So... Um, you got, told you, exclusive. <laughs> right. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, well... Patrick, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for receiving me. And uh, hopefully see you back in Australia again oh, soon. Oh, you will next year. <laughs> uh, better, absolutely. Can't wait to see what else you guys have yeah. got. Oh, full of surprise. <laughs> Excellent. Guys, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions for us or for Patrick, please put them in the uh, comment section below and we'll get to them as quickly, quickly as we can. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.